question mainly for Kyle and Woody. Just the win, nothing more. <laughs> if you could choose from any Both fighter Britain that has heaven. ever professionally fought, what would your dream UFC main event be? Oh, I'd want to see GSP versus Anderson Silva. Ooh. And That's they're a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine was um, Sakuraba versus Hicks and Gracie. Uh, it's an old, old school old reference. School. Yeah, yeah. But Gracies are this family of fighters. They kind of, they, they literally did create the UFC and found it. And they, uh, Gracie won three tournaments. I think the first three, uh, this is a, which Gracie was it? Not Orion, not Hicks in, whatever. I forget his name, the small one. But uh, they were like these legends, these super fighters, the Gracies. It's a proud family name. And Sakuraba became the Gracie killer, right? He beat three Gracies, didn't lose to any of them. But Hicks and Gracie, he's the mythical one. He's the guy that supposedly had 400 wins and zero losses. He didn't fight the Gracie killer. And mm -hmm. if I could make it happen, I'd put those two together and see if the Gracie killer could beat the best Gracie. 35 uh, I'd, I'd also like to see DeVito's versus <laughs> versus. What? I'd also like to see um, Chuck Liddell in his prime versus uh, John Jones, maybe. Something like that. Uh, I'd like to see prime. it, but I just I don't see Chuck winning that. I feel like John Jones is the the best two of fiver we've had so far. Chuck, Lid but Chuck in his prime could just take so much punishment and deliver so much more. Like I don't know. One thing John doesn't do well is get smashed. I mean, like it, uh, he got outboxed by uh, by Butterball for the maybe the first some of the first round of that fight. They Daniel Cormier, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, true, actually. Cormier's boxing is good. It really is pretty legit. Yeah. Um, Weird for but, a wrestler, but yeah. But he's not as versatile as, as Jones. Nobody is. He's not. If, it, if you put Daniel Cormier's skill set in Jones's body, he might be the best. You know? I, think, I think Cormier's got better hands, but I think the way that um, John Jones just has physical talents that nobody else has. You know, he's just, it's his build. And then his ability to exploit that length, that range. Mm. And, uh, you know, there's chicken legs. I mean, I see the dude fucking deadlifting, I don't know, 600 pounds or something like that. Like, like they may look like chicken legs, but they're, they're powerful. I don't know. He's getting that strength from somewhere. True. And um, <laughs> from a needle, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not guessing. He got caught twice. <laughs> yeah, I, and I, I'm pretty sure that's not true. <laughs> All right, let's not do this again. <laughs> Jesus um, Christ. <laughs> And, uh, uh, but yeah, yeah, I'd like to see that fight, but I, my money would be on Jones. Yeah. I think my money would be on Jones, mm -hmm. but I'd still like to see it. I could, I, I think if they do it 10 times, the Iceman might win too. Okay. okay. I think if he, if he ever gets inside and, uh, and touches Jones, that could be lights out, but yeah, he, uh, Honestly, I, that would be a good one. Uh, prime Silva versus John Jones would be interesting too. Anderson Silva Anderson versus Silva? John Jones. Yeah. That was a rumored super fight at one point. At the time, they never let champions sort of leave their own weight class. Yeah. But uh, Jones is too big for Silva. Silva had a lot of wins at 205. And he didn't seem small. Like Jones, though. True. Yeah. He, he always seemed to fight like. I, I would say Silva, uh, based on his victories at 205, would be a legit like number five or six or, you know, someone who would be. It wouldn't be inappropriate for him to have a title fight. I think Adesanya is going to get his fucking shit pushed in if he ever tries to step up to John Jones at 205. I, I, I don't see know them what... next to each other. I, I um, see they're that. both very tall, so it'd be interesting, but I just think Jones has a lot more power built in. He, he's, he's got an extra 20 pounds on him. Yeah, I, I'm not good at judging. Like, like They always say... Um... Adesanya is this next level striker, you know, way better than anybody else in the UFC. Your striking is so amazing. I feel like I'm not qualified. Like I can see it seems to be effective, I guess, but like what makes his striking so much better and more accurate? I haven't seen it. Like 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 I, I don't I don't like him and I don't think he's that good. I get he's the fucking world champion. I get it. Mm -hmm. But I want to see him fight somebody that I don't know. Like, who do you want him to beat? He beat the previous world champion. He beat Yoel Romero. The Costa is like the only guy left, and his division seems cleaned out. I want to see him fight Costa, I guess, but I don't think Costa is a good, a good test for him. He needs to fight somebody with fucking cardio. Um, who was his next fight? I can't think of who it is. In Probably any Costa. case, mm. the big strong guy. 
guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Super Jack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if he beats Costa, I think he fights John Jones. We'll see. I, I think John. I think Jones beats him. Uh, I don't understand. I thought he uh, Yoel could have beaten him. I felt like if Yoel had just and that, fought. For people don't know that was barely a fight. Uh, they were both super defensive, and there weren't that many strikes. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh, and Jones has fallen off. Right, his wrestling's gone. He hasn't done that in years now, and he, he has had two wins that most people thought were losses, but they were the judges had him as wins, and that's what counts. But uh, so he's not fighting prime John Jones. It appears we're on the second half of that. I thought his last yeah. fight was likely a loss. Uh, the one before it, I thought was close, but I thought Jones won, especially considering that that Santos, I believe it was, mm -hmm. his, like his two broken ACLs out. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, the man, you know, if the fight ends and one of the guys is literally crippled, I have a hard time giving it to the other one because it's not even like Jones like hit him once right at the end and now this guy's hurt. It's like Jones, while fighting Jones, he lost two ACLs or something, tore them or in MCLs or whatever. Like two of his knees are fucked. One yeah, severely. But if I break my He's hand hitting you, you're not that impressive. I well, break my knee kicking you. Congratulations, kinda. I well, he throws that kick, you know, right above the knee. That that compounded yeah. it. You know, he's throwing that continuously. I would be so afraid to fight him because of that. Yeah, like that's the scariest thing he throws besides the eye pokes. The eye pokes are a problem. Maybe, yeah. Anyway, I, I don't want to dwell on UFC too too long, but I'm. Eh, we're I, four hours in. Hmm? I'm a big can, boy. I, I do what I want. This is our dessert. All right. <laughs> We gave you meat and potatoes. There was a side salad at the beginning. Yeah. We had a couple yeah. bottles of wine. We're just having a little, little cheesecake now. A little cheesecake. Argue well. I liked when we were fighting about candy. <laughs> that was my favorite part. 